This is Ratanakon Market, probably the biggest market in the Pattaya and Jomtian area. It's somewhere on Teprasit Road, on the same road as the Yudomori Onsen as well as the Teprasit Night Market. The first section of this market is dominated by fruits, mostly local. These are different types of bananas. In Thai, bananas are called Chloe. I'm sure I butchered the pronunciation. I think these hairy ones are what Malaysians call salak fruit. In Thai, it's called salak or something. Something similar. The first section is a huge area with stalls as far as the eye could see. Most of these are fruit stalls and the prices are the lowest I found in Pattaya. Take for example these pineapples, called saparot in Thai. 20 baht per piece, that's a steal. Coconut mapro at around 30 baht is amazing value. Again, I've probably butchered the pronunciation. I'm sorry, Thai teacher. And these small sweet ones from 15 baht, that's either 30% or maybe half price from the stalls in Pattaya or Jomtian. Dragon fruit at 60 baht per kilogram. Now that's value. Watermelons at 23 baht per kilo, more or less the same price as in Malaysia. Still cheap though. There are many different strains or variants of durian. Uh, they taste different, uh, they smell different, and the prices are also different. But the Thai's package, everything is the same here because I think it's the same strain. Now these avocados are a bargain, 70 baht per kilo. Uh, if you buy them at the supermarkets, you can probably get only th two or three avocados at that price. Now we're going to the second section of the market. It starts with pretty much similar stalls as the first one, but with slight variations. Here you can also find some stalls selling food, either breakfast items or dishes you can take home for lunch. In this section, you can find some raw chicken. The prices are higher now than pre-pandemic times, but that's true all over the world. Hello. Hello. 
there's plenty of fresh seafood I find that eating seafood at the Mukata will to be better value for money for me. I mean, at 300 to 400 baht, I could eat all the seafood I want. But for families and bigger groups, the seafood here is fresh and affordable. Now a lot of the beef sellers here are Muslim or sell halal beef. This is an amazing discovery as I love beef and I've learned to cook simple beef dishes. With the halal beef discovery, I can now eat beef every week. There's a simple recipe at the end of the video. The beef is around 230 baht per kilo, which is similar to Malaysian local beef prices and way lower than most imported beef. Now this is a fermented food stall. They sell dried fish, pickled vegetables, bamboo shoots and that big tub over there is preserved fish or anchovy sauce. Malaysians call it budu. I think the Thais call it plara or something or para. I mean, yeah, I'm butchering the pronunciation again. And of course, there's lots and lots of pork. There are many stalls selling vegetables, some of which I've never encountered before. Two things I couldn't find here, down kunyit or turmeric leaves and curry leaves. Thai cuisine probably doesn't use these two leaves. Yeah, they got eggs, even pink ones. The pink eggs are basically preserved eggs similar to century egg. And this is a typical dry store at the market. It has all the spices, flavorings, sauces and condiments you need to cook most Thai dishes, if not all of them. So I got some halal beef and this is the simplest way to cook a tasty beef dish. Slice your beef to small sizes for stir fry. We'll mix it with half a spoon of turmeric powder. Then add two spoons of light soy sauce, marinate for half an hour.
stir fry some chopped garlic and then add slices of ginger. Then add the beef. Stir it a little bit and then add some water. I think 2 to 3 cups is enough. Cook till all the water has evaporated. You can add some chili if you want. And this is um, one of my favorite dishes I could make myself. Stir fried beef with turmeric and garlic. Natarakon Market is the gateway to amazing food, ingredients and will allow for more culinary adventures. It's truly an amazing place. I'm glad I actually live near this place and you know, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's just, I, I love this place.